lost. They took your family and your riches. Then they took your health and your pride. Finally, they left you to die. What will you do, Exile, when there is nothing left but to live or die? Chosen. What will you become? All right, guys, what's going on? Rise here. We're going to go ahead and do a uh, solo playthrough this time. I usually do not record my gameplay, and I've regretted it a few times in the past, so we'll see how it goes this time. So we're going to start in the desert, like always. I like to create a female character every time I play. It's just my preference. If I got to look at the character constantly, I just prefer to look at a female. So I'm gonna go with the Stygian race, the set religion. Cut me down. I usually do the set religion because of uh, the set pots, so I can make those pretty fast early game. However, it does not matter. You can pick any religion you want. It's just all preference. But let's go ahead and give her some dark hair. Eyeshadow looks nice. Give her a little bit of lipstick. And the ears, I don't like the angles of the ears, so we're going to shrink it back a little bit. There we go, looks nice. Blue eyes. And I always like to make all my characters as short as they can go. Give her a little bit of the physique. Just a little bit. Breast size, I never like to make too big. Just like a medium. And name our character. Rise. Here we go. During the year of the Cobra, a prisoner captured by unknown means was transported into the ex- Alright guys, here we go. Um, I usually like to play solo. Once in a while I play with a group. Um, I've been playing this game for a very long time. I got thousands of hours. I uh, used to play the game on Xbox originally. And I play on PC now. This is a PvP official server. We are uh, collecting stones, fiber, sticks, everything we need for our first plant fiber clothes, and a stone pickaxe, stone hatchet. We're gonna run around, pick up everything that we can. All 
Alright, so we got enough plant fiber, we can start creating our plant fiber clothing. Some sticks, more sticks for a pick. Piece of haunch. Use that. Water skin, put that on our hot bar. Oh man, I wish I could get that bomb right there. Could use the bomb. So poor. Get up every stick and stone. There's a few sticks. go. Our first pickaxe and hatchet. Make some twine. I need to make a bed roll. What in the heck? Why is there so many NPCs in the middle of the desert? What is this? Holy crap! Oh my god. Almost killed me. Gotta get out of here. We gotta go. I have never, ever seen a bunch of NPCs in the desert like that. Ever. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if that's something new. I don't know if... I don't know. I have no idea what's going on there. So we have our tools. We just need some daggers. We need some aloe for some heals to stay alive. We're going to make the weak aloe potions. We're going to need a lot of aloe. We're going to need to create hundreds of aloe pots to stay alive. Because my number one goal every playthrough is to get all the obelisks. Some people want to just level right away. My biggest concern is all the obelisks. And level on the way. And once I have all the obelisks, then I will go hard into leveling. There we go, we got the stone. We can make our first stone daggers. We are at the NPC camp at the dregs. Need to get up to the obelisk so we can attune our bracelet. There's a chest. That's garbage loot. Sorcerer scroll, I'll use that later. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god. Get off me. Oh god. Yeah, all the loot here is no good. I'll well just keep running. There it is, the first obelisk at the dregs. So we need to collect every single obelisk so we can teleport across the map. It's uh, the fast traveling system in this game. You didn't know. All right, we are now in the unnamed city. Going to run and collect this obelisk as well and attune our bracelet.
the slave pits. Ah, cha 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 cha. All right, there we go. Unnamed city attuned. So if you run down here, you can learn the choreographer feat, and that allows you to make the map rooms, which when you place those map rooms, you can teleport to any of the obelisks that I'm attuning my bracelet to. So that's what we're doing, running down here. Hard brick. I won't need that for a while. I'll run down here, talk to this guy. And he will teach you the map room choreographer. I am just a shadow, a whisper of what once was. All the fall on this kingdom We are now heading to the brimstone obelisk. That way we can attune our bracelet there. This is one of the three skull bosses in the unnamed city. Oh my god, he hit so hard. Oh man. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I'm probably gonna come back dead. Oh, thank god. Thought for sure I was gonna be in the desert. Have not placed a bedroll yet. Here we are at the Brimstone Obelisk. Let's see whose map room this is. Butthole Surfers. What kind of name is Butthole Surfers? Had some interesting characters on the server, it seems. Do you even surf a butthole? I don't know. Anyway, we got the Obelisk attuned. That's three down. You run up to this guy, you can learn the Midnight Alchemist, come, come, come. and that will allow you to make the Bestial Memory Potion, because you do not want to be making Yellow Lotus Potions and respecting all your feats all the time. The Mounds of the Dead. Butthole surfers again. Looks like they've been here pretty recently. Alright, here's our obelisk that we need at the dead mounds. And right underneath the obelisk, there is a small book you can click on that will teach you specialty brewing. I'm not sure which one it is, I always just click it. Specialty brewing 2, okay. And over here, you can learn specialty cooking recipe number four I always come here and click that as well you got to be very careful because these guys the NPCs at the dead mounds do not play around they can one tap you pretty easily and right up here at the cursed mounds there's a chest you can click on that will give you a steel sickle. And the steel sickle is huge for early game. We're going to want that to harvest all these crimson lotus flowers in this area. Because they're going to boost our XP a lot. So it's going to be one of our main ways to level is with this steel sickle. So this is huge. Look at that, one level from one flower. I'm gonna run around and collect all these flowers. Try not to get killed by these skeletons. Oh jeez.
clear this whole area up top here <clears throat> and then down by the water not far from us there's a bunch more crimson lotus flowers you're gonna want to collect all of them so i think i might have gotten all of them up here now yeah i don't see any up oh, there's one all right let's hop down here and uh collect the rest of these Look at that, we got like five levels. There we go, efficient harvest. Now every time we hit a node, the final hit's gonna give us twice as many resources. That actually helps a lot with leveling. So that's helping even with these, harvesting these lotus flowers, we're gonna get more XP because we're getting more. So we're gonna collect all these flowers down here. Getting levels left and right. All right, we pretty much cleared this whole area. There's one more, let's grab that. Yeah, that helped us out quite a bit. Four more levels. All right guys, so I went AFK at this moment and I uh, went to go do something, get a drink. And some people in the chat were saying there was a hacker on the server. Unfortunately on this game, hackers are pretty common and it's unfortunate but uh yeah for some reason these guys are assuming that i am a hacker because i'm a new character on the server leveling which is kind of funny if they want to think i'm a hacker let them think i'm a hacker i don't care let them be scared in their bases but i am no hacker so i don't know i thought that was kind of funny that they're accusing me of being a hacker when i just joined the server and i'm leveling Hopefully it's just a random hacker and it's not a hacker protecting a tribe on the server, but who really knows? All right, boys, we're back. Hacker joined. They're not sure of me, huh? They think I might be a hacker. That's that's hilarious. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just because I'm a brand new character on the server, level one. They think I'm a hacker. Possibly. It's all good. Yeah, hopefully I don't get sped down by any hackers or anything like that. BZ. Ah! Little wheelhouse. Oh, door's gone. Alright. All looted, it looks like. Nothing of any use here. Let's get this bed rolled down. There's a map room nearby, and if I run up in the cross temple, it's a good chance I'll die. I'll freeze to death, so we'll put that right there. Map room right there. So, travel gains, and yeah, if we die, I'll be right here to hopefully be able to get my body back. But if I die in there, there's a good chance I won't get it back. There we go, our frost temple obelisk. I always hate running across this ice lake. Kills you so fast. 
Luckily, I got pots though, so we'll be alright. But if you're naked and you don't have any running across this, most of the time you'll die. Ooh, a frost lotus flower. That's gonna give us some XP. So we're gonna get that. That's a nice chunk of XP there. Make our way up to the obelisk over here by the ice caverns. Some more heals just in case I freeze to death. There she is. Tune the bracelet. Yeah. We're gonna run down through the ice cavern a little bit and get as many of these uh, frost lotus flowers as I can while I make my way towards the volcano. So we'll go ahead and harvest all these flowers. And hopefully we don't get killed by any giant rock monsters. I forget what they're called, but yeah. The big spinning ones, big scary ones. <laughs> Ice caverns, those those guys are pretty pretty freaky, especially when you're low level. Alright, here we are up in the volcano. I got ice to keep us cool, but I gotta watch out for all this lava. All this golden lotus flowers are going to give us huge XP, and boom, look at that. Now we can walk over encumbered at normal speed. Start leveling vitality after this. Here's some more lotus flowers. Oh man, the lag when I tried to jump over that lava. Leave me alone! <laughs> you have to have ice while you're up here. Otherwise, you'll burn to death. It's too hot. You can't really heal through it. Takes a lot of pots if you try to heal through it. And when you got stuff chasing you around and stuff, yeah, it's just too hard. Just collecting all these lotus flowers. Just gonna make our way up to the obelisk. Tune our bracelet here. Little bit of vitality. Yeah! Ouch. Dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. Oh man, if I get clapped up here, I'm not getting my stuff back. There's the obelisk tune. All right, there we go. Now at least if we die, we can teleport up here and get our stuff back. That was kind of close. If I would've got shot with another arrow, I'd probably be dead. The summoning place. So we're gonna run up in the summoning place. We need a cooking recipe so we can make salted pork. That is one of the strength buffs food that we're gonna need one more PVP in. So, might as well run up in here and grab it real quick. Looks like they got a event going on up in here or something. 
Not interested in that. Just want the recipe. So if you run all the way up top, up the stairs, there'll be a little book right here on the ground. There you go, specialist cooking. Five and one. All right, we're at the sinkhole. Let's grab our obelisk here. Bad hyena. Someone was nice enough to leave us an elevator here to go down and get our dragon bone recipes. The dragon bone armor recipe you can get down here from the tablet it is one of the best in the game. Definitely an end game tier. So you're definitely gonna wanna learn the dragon bone recipes down here. Very good for strength builds, so. The weapons are all right, they're not bad, but with the nerf to uh, craftable weapons, I don't use dragon bone weapons anymore, but the armor, I use a lot. There we go. So I was running by here in the savannah and I started hearing some explosions. Looks like explosive arrows. I'm not sure what's going on. In the chat, it looks like they're saying that there's three guys attacking a solo in this base. But I'm not really sure. It looks like the guys raiding have no idea what they're doing. They're not using gas arrows, they're just shooting random explosive arrows at the elevator. So let's just kill ourselves and run over there and get a closer look. I don't want them to get our little bit of loot that we've collected. So I'll just leave my body there. All right. Maybe they'll be over here PVPing and I get a free kit or something. You just scoop off the ground. I don't know. Check it out. All I'm seeing is one guy right now. The chat was saying three, but looks like one guy over there shooting explosive arrows. Oh my god, this tiger. Oh, ouch. Go away, kitty. Trying to get me free loot. Uh, it looks just like a solo shooting arrows. I don't know if this guy has no idea what he's doing or he's just trying to bait the guy out to fight with explosive arrows. I'm not sure what's going on. Grab some aloe so we can heal real quick. Chill right here till we figure out what's going on. See if these guys start fighting or something. Definitely ain't gonna do nothing in our underwear, so. And our zero strength. Oh my god, look at this, Chad. Trying to gank a naked? What the heck? Chad PvP are right here. Oh, now he doesn't want to fight. Didn't get the easy kill on the naked or what? What's up, buddy? What's going on here?
These guys have matching armor and everything. <laughs> Looks like his buddy's describing to him what I was sitting over here doing, crouching in the hole. <laughs> Oh, nothing. Nothing, they say. Not shooting explosive arrows at this base? Alright, that doesn't seem like they're doing anything, so I don't see any fighting, so we're going to continue what we were doing, collecting all the obelisks. Alright, so we made our way to the northern jungle, tuning our bracelet here. So, right outside the northern jungle, over by these temples, there is these purple flowers. They don't give as much... XP as, you know, like the Black Lotus or the Crimson or the White Lotus or the Gold Lotus flowers, but they give you a decent bit, so they're definitely worth farming early game. Get some XP if you got a sickle, so I want to go ahead and collect all these flowers in this area. And then once we're done here, we'll make our way to the southern jungle and get that obelisk. And we should have all of our obelisks. But any kind of leveling we can do on our way, we'll go ahead and knock it out. Man, this bird really wants me. So also, you can farm these uh, puffball mushrooms, and they give you a decent amount of XP as well, as you can see. Just look at my XP bar. Pretty good for leveling as well. So I'm going to sit here and collect all these mushrooms on my way to the southern jungle. Obelisk. Killing gorillas in the southern jungle is also a good source of XP. If you have enough strength to kill them not worth it if you got no stone weapons or stuff like that but if you got like a black eye sword like I have it's not too bad unfortunately I have zero strength but the sword's not too bad so we'll kill a few gorillas and get some XP these black lotus flowers are boosting our XP a lot so we're gonna collect all this try not to die to the gorillas and the gas Over here by the Watcher of the Passage, I noticed there's a base over here. I'm not sure whose it is, but it looks pretty, pretty beefy. I don't really want to risk losing everything I have when I do not have much. I have everything I own on my body, so we're not going to mess with that right now. Just run up here, get the Southern Jungle Ob, and we will have all the obelisks attuned. You can teleport to anywhere on the map. Cha-ching. There we go. All done. Now the main focus is leveling. So I collected a few okay, silver I coins. And I know one of these NPCs over here will give you Out of here with a bargain, spiced pork so we're looking for that NPC so we can uh, go farm the frost temple for black ice the black ice in the frost temple is good source of XP this is our NPC here one silver coin for one spiced pork gonna get as many as we can again 
teleported back up to the frost temple so we can start farming the black ice now that we got our spiced pork we won't freeze to death well as easily we'll still be freezing but it'll help massively Usually just climb up on the bridge here and then slide down to try to avoid those ice giants down there. Ooh, black ice pick. That's freaking huge. Way better than the iron pickaxe that I'm using right now. Let's go ahead and slot that right now. Clear this entire dungeon. Black ice for XP. Yeah, farming in here with plant fiber clothing, practically naked with just spice food is very rough. It's hard to survive. So come in here and you're a new player. Uh, there's a good chance you'll die. The XP in here is really good. It seems to be nerfed, but I risk it for the biscuit. If I die in here, I'm losing everything. I'm not getting my stuff back. There we go. Maxed out the vitality. We got glutton for punishment, which is huge. We'll start level on agility. Now that we have a black ice pick, I decided to come back up to the volcano to farm obsidian and uh, lotus flowers for XP. The obsidian's given quite a bit of XP, so the goal now is just to get as much XP as possible between obsidian, black ice, black lotus, crimson lotus, frost lotus, all of that. I legit thought that it was obsidian. <laughs> nope. Alright, who wants to fight? Yeah, I'm hitting like a wet noodle. Let's let's not. Let's just get these lotus flowers. Get out of here. Well, looks like this base location is open. So we're going to set up our first little, I would say sandstone shack, but uh, looks like I have more wood than stone. So we're gonna make a flotsam shack. That body out of the way so we can build our first shack. We're not building anything too crazy. We're just gonna seal this up so we have somewhere safe to put our loot when it's not raid time. This is not gonna help during raid time at all. This is like one bomb, five bombs, somewhere in there. Depending on how many doors I put on here. But uh yeah, when it's not raid time, at least we'll have somewhere to store our loot. Feels kind of weird building with flotsam. I usually build with sandstone for our, my first new structure, but flotsam's not bad. Put a few doors on here, beef it up, so it costs some hundreds of bombs. Yeah, right. Custom like three bombs to get in here. Yeah. 
Not too bad, not too bad. So we can seal up that little crack. Side. We'll seal this up too. There we go. OP PVP base ready to go. I'm gonna build a little shack right here in the middle of the room. If you punch the temple structure anywhere around the sides, you'll be able to look and see what's in here. So I don't want them to see my boxes or whatever it is I decide to put in my little nuke shack. So this will keep them from being able to see what we got in here. Probably should have raised the foundations because now I cannot put my bedroll in the water. So I'll just go ahead and slap a bedroll down out here. Anyway, the heck. What's going on? Oh. There we go. That'll work. Alright. Put the boxes down. Store all our loot so I don't have to keep carrying everything around with me now. always annoys me when you're trying to stack chests and they're kind of finicky after you just place the bottom one. They don't let you place the top one very easily. Yep. Dink around with it. all this garbage you don't need that decided to come over to southern jungle kill a few gorillas for some xp i don't have very long before I have to hop off the game so I'm just gonna try to get a uh, one more level quickly before I gotta log off so we're gonna go ahead and wrap up our first episode here guys um, if you liked the video or you're interested in seeing more let me know in the comments hit the like subscribe if you would like to see more I do have more videos coming for this series this is just the first one I do not have much experience with editing videos or creating YouTube videos but there's been so many times I've had a great playthrough and I just wish I would have recorded it so we're gonna go through this episode by episode just to see how it goes get it on camera make it episodic 
And, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Alright guys, so I'm gonna have to log out for the night. So I'm gonna go inside my shack here. We had a productive day. We got to level 54. Got all our obelisks done. And yeah, if you want to see more content, subscribe.